Field of 27 to the green flag, 100 laps the distance for the Mighty Modifieds here tonight. Off of turn number four, Field comes up to speed. The green flag is out for the Crystal Crimson World on the way, Ronnie Silk. Lead them into turn number one. Jeff Pearl, Mark Payne side by side for a second. Payne gonna backslide just a bit to the inside. Here comes Kurt Lenahan for the third spot. Everyone around a complete lap one safely. Very, very in the number one, but all eyes around Ronnie Silk at the front of the field, towering his way down the straightaway. Just ahead of Dennis Charette in the one. On back stretch, that's going to be John Bergetti. Chris Pastriak, a little lap of shape for a moment. He'll backslide two spots. Now the 47 by pass hit from the outside. Stadium coming out here to race in the SK Modified 100 lap feature event. So he's no stranger to distance races, Kyle. I take his time right now here at uh, Waterford. Chris Gruen off the pace off of turn number four and 35 and will be the first retiree of the event. Caution is out for a spin. Mark Payne up in turn four. Outside pole sitter for the event goes around a solo spin up in turn four. Bring out the caution flag, 16 laps in, 84 to go. Ronnie Silk has led all the laps thus far. Jeff Pearl in second. Teddy Crip. Race car, guys. Here we go, off of turn number four. Ron Juhas is going to have a beer full of screaming. That's great modified coming up behind us. Ronnie Silk in a drag race with Jeff Pearl out there. Jeff Pearl backing off just a bit. Ted Christopher comes up to fill up the hole. Yeah, this could get big off turn four. Yeah, as we got Ryan Newhouse now. Ted Christopher and Jeff Pearl. Oh. Side by side, we have cars going around. It looks like uh, 
Should be Lenahan involved. Another and melee. Ed Reed Jr. goes around in the 72. The Barry car got airborne, able to pull away. Scott Bettencourt, Butch Perry. And the 21, Michael Gata pulls away. And the only car unable, now fires up, is the uh, 72. Butch Perry now pulls away, and everybody involved gets away, but a lot of damaged cars. Dennis Gata, look at the... Uh, left rear of car number three. It looked like a car went up and over the back end of his entry. Could have been uh, Ken Berry. It could have very well been Ken. That car was airborne four or five feet in the air. Seventy-seven laps to go and the complexion of this event, at least uh, toward the back of the pack, changes for the point leaders. Not a lot of change at the front. Still Ronnie Silk, Ted Christopher, uh, Jeff Pearl, Dennis Charette, all, all able to not be involved. That's, uh, I guess, coming back towards the restart line. Ronnie Silk, Ted Christopher will set the pace for the rest of this race as they take off Christopher on the outside of the other 13. Ronnie Silk on the inside, the young driver, and of course, the great veteran on the outside. Ted Christopher puts the 13 into the lead. He's Jump. at a defending champ of this event, Mark, and oh, short trouble. Charette goes around off turn four and keeps the car fired up. Joe Schumann plasters the outside wall along with a couple of other cars to bring out the caution flag. Third one here on lap 31. Charette got out of shape and a couple of cars bounced off the outside arm. Barrier, Tony Anello and Joe Schumann. Uh, two of those cars and Anello will bring his car to the access road on the back stretch. Joe Schumann they also look to head to the pit area. 68 to go. And we're going to get the car single file. Realign them. Try it again. Six. Now he's going to have a heck of a workout as he tries to push the uh, wheel to six around the track here tonight. Coming back to the restart line. Willie Dunn looks him over. Tech Christopher. That is first pitch. Right here comes out of the front of the field. He's followed by Ronnie Silk. Jeff Pearl in the third spot in the number 71 as the Rats tick down 68 showing on the scoreboard. They're going to take another one off this time by. Looks like the outside looking in is Butch Perry as the number 76 out of control on the front spread, but he'll try to bring it out onto the track. He's going to be out there in front of a swarm of bees. Also, last time by, an accident made by Don Power had that car about spun like we saw a few minutes ago. Uh, but like Dennis Charette did off of turn number four, but uh, Fowler able to hang on to it. Lost a couple of spots, but has the car in one piece and is uh, ready to come back up through the field. The car is going to battle right in the 15th spot. As race leaders are back in turn number two. Christopher and Silk nose to tail. Pearl in the third spot, followed by Muchacharo and Tommy Fox. 64 to go. Muchacharo having another good race. Remember last year, he had a tremendous Frank, and uh, seems to be the case here tonight as he's up there among them. He got half. Tom Fox. Uh, and he is also up there contending spot on the speedway. Christopher leads off of turn number four. Ronnie Silk in second. They've opened up a bit of breathing room between the top two and the race of third between Jeff Pearl in the 71. And Frank Luchacharo in the 98. Tommy Fox in the fifth spot, followed by Justin Gadosh, Chris Pastriak, Rob Janovic, and his data, the front uh, 10 cars in this event. 11 laps from halfway. So go everyone single file right now back to turn two. And on the back stretch, Christopher and Silk Right now, we're going to try and settle it among themselves. It's still a long way to go. There's 60 laps going out of the scoreboard. Of course, Ken Christopher is currently 14th in the point standings. It makes you wonder what he would do if he was here on a weekly basis. Of course, he's been driving everything with wheels on it. Kind of driving is quickly crazy with everywhere they have to work with on uh, his uh, exploits from the Cadillac Modified Series. He's driven uh, the Midgets TSK Modified. Continuing to add to his story career. And fortunately for him, some are just getting underway. Still a lot of events in store for him, along with Ronnie Silk. Doug Kobe also making the uh, 
Trent to Waterford every week, along with doing full-time Fennel Light Modified Series schedule. Doug right now, mired back in the pack behind the old one of Glenn Billings, just ahead of uh, Kirk Lanahan, who gets up alongside him for the spot now on the back straightaway. Ed Reed Jr. in that mix as well. As they go in the turn number three. Grace Leader already at start finish line. It's the 13 of Ted Christopher, 56 to run. Silk in second, Pearl in third, in fourth. Frank Lucicharo, Tommy Fox in the top five. Single file racing in the front of the field. Ron Duhon about to put a lap down in the sixth car. So Ted Christopher is setting a four in pace here as we approach the halfway point. It's an RSK modified feature event here this evening. He's followed by Ronnie Silk, Jeff Pearl, Frank Lucicharo, and Tom Fox. That's your front group of drivers. Chris Bastrap all by himself out here in the middle of that second group of SK Mods. Gonna put another lap on Butch Perry's 76 car. He's been involved in a couple of incidents tonight, including a hit into the outside guardrail in turn one and a spin through the infield on the front stretch, which did not produce a cause for black. Uh, Perry gaining experience here tonight and seat time behind the wheel of 76 car, but off the pace off of turn number four. And the rest of the field gonna steam by to his outside as Again, in trouble. Then a Charette out of shape on the front stretch and a nice save for the driver of car number one. He's okay. Loses one spot to the boss, Larry Ross. And Larry Ross with plenty of experience behind the wheel of an SK modified car. Takes advantage of the uh, hiccup by the number one that is the bet. We're going to be halfway through this one the next time Tech Christopher crosses the start finish line. Halfway home, cross flag shown to the field. For the 13, TC out front, pulling away from Ronnie Silk. Now about four car lengths between the race leaders. Jeff Ball in third, about to be caught by Frank Luchacharo in fourth. Fifth place, Tommy Fox, Chris Pazriak, solid run to sixth. Stacked up from seventh on back. Rob Janovic takes it to the spot. Don Fowler goes spinning through the infield in turn two. Again, he's okay, so we'll keep it up the green flag. A 26 car gets it back on the asphalt. Uh, Luke Dennis gained now to eighth behind Rob Janovic. And Doug Hilton in the ninth spot. Followed by Justin Yadosh, Kirk Lenahan, and Ed Reed Jr. trying to make his way to the front. Right now outside of the top ten for Clark 72. You can see the damage to the number three. It's not slowing him down a bit as he's out there challenging Rob Janovic Jr. in the number 51 coming up on the slower U-Haas. Janovic has to check up as Dennis Gaynor had to go high to get around Rob Ryan Uhas. And it cost him four spots, or three spots rather, went to the inside with Dennis Gaynor, Doug Kobe, and then Reed uh, going to fall back in two positions as well in the 72 car. Then Janovic next to line in the 51, so Tough right there for Janovic. Here's Doug Kobe going to work on Dennis Gaeta for the seventh spot on that straight away. Right. Uh, continue to cross the stripe and continue to tick down the laps. 44 to go now for Ted Christopher. Chris Drew in a little out of shape. Picked up a bit of dust. He's all right. 43 to run. You've got to think that probably one of the fastest cars on the track, arguably, is the number five of Chris Pastrack. The moment ago, he got there all by himself behind the first group of drivers. Now he is on the back bumper of Tom Fox's automobile. Tom Fox, a perennial uh, front runners in the SK Modified division. And the Super John in the 47. Ted Christopher out there in the Mystique Motorsports number 13 setting the pace. He's followed by Ryan Silk in the 88. Jeff Pearl with a great run here in the number 71. He is third on the track with Frank Puccicaro. Oh! He has Rob Janovic out there into the wall. This is a second week in a row that bad luck has befallen the driver of the Big A Auto Parts of North Bramford sponsored car. Yeah, Janovic, fifth in points, had a uh, tough week last week in the 51 car with an 18th place finish. And the kick is the 57 to Mark Payne. Back on the speedway, and we'll hold one more lap caution lights back on. Don Fowler coming back out onto the speedway. It looks like that car is still out of adjustment on the right hand side of the car. He's got a problem with the right front for Don Fowler. Let's go to the pits, Gary Danko. Well, Rob Janovic, the driver of the Silk, will make up the top two, but add the lap car into the mix among the leaders for the restart. That's John Briganti. This could 
be an interesting restart off turn four. 35 to go. Green flags up and we're back and away. Silken is not to the speed. Stacks the inside lineup momentarily. Ronnie Silken able to keep the second spot. The lap car separates first and second right now. Bergenti is there and Ron Yuha spun all by himself in turn two and that'll bring the caution now. Again, and now pulls away for Juhas. Looks like they try to get the gate open the next time around for Ronnie Juhas. Obviously, something to miss on the Juhas car, number six. And he may have a tire down, like you mentioned, uh, that may have initiated the spin over in turn number two. They're in turn number four. Tech Christopher up at the front of the field. The car that's down a few laps, that's John Bergenti on the outside groove. Gets a bit of a jump out there. A little bit of help the field in the 88, a helpful nudge out there by Silk. But on the inside groove, Jeff Pearl is the man to keep an eye on. He's the driver, the number 71. He's following in the tire tracks of Tech Christopher trying to keep contact. Get another lap goes down. We're under 30. Christopher and Pearl now able to get away. Tommy Fox in third. And now we have a lap card. Bergenti caught a tire up in turn number three. Bounced off somebody or something. And still sitting out there. Linehan, Bergenti's car still moving in the forward direction. And it will bring out the caution flag. 28 to go and a tire down on the John Bergenti car. Right front. May have bounced off the guardrail over on the back straight. 23 to run, 22 when they hit the line for Ted Christopher, who's led the most laps tonight. So far, Jeff Pearl, winner last week in the outside lane, gets a jump. Gets single file with Tommy Fox for that third spot. And they hit the back stretch, it's going to be Christopher out front. Tech Christopher setting the pace. Jeff Pearl working the outside groove. He's up there with Ronnie Silver. Once again, it looks like the uh, Cinderella Knight for Frank Lucicaro comes to an end as he has. Oh, car. trouble back straight away. Another car goes spinning. And looks like Pearl is out of shape in the 71. Still. That's the 88 of Ronnie Silk on the back stretch. Yeah, Jeff Pearl out here on the straightaway. Straight away, and it looks like Dennis Charette once again spinning his automobile. So a terrific night for the 88 of Ronnie Silk. May have uh, come to an end as his luck ran out. Jeff Pearl did emerge from that uh, incident. Frank Mutacharo able to keep it here on the front stretch. So. Never a dull moment. Off of turn four. 13 to go, and it's the 13 car. We'll go back to turn one. That's Ted Christopher. Tommy Fox into the second spot. In third, Chris Pastriak. Fourth is Kobe, and now he's under attack by Glenn Billings down in turn number three for that spot. Billings having a great run in the fourth, and they work off the corner. Right now, trying to get some sort of a cadence, some sort of a rhythm to this SK modified race, and we haven't been able to do it. 12 laps showing on the Budweiser Racing scoreboard as Ted Christopher now pulling away from the field. Tom Fox and Tom pursuit in number 47. It might be a little bit too much too little. And Billings goes around in turn two. Caution out again with now 10 laps to go. Be like that. It's and, a lot of fun next week. And don't forget two weeks, the NASCAR Bush North Series, Saturday night, July 17th for 150 laps. Circle that one on your calendar. Should be a good time. It's their only visit to the Speedway in 2004. Green flag back up. Five to go, and Christopher gets the jump. Tommy Fox right there, hot on his heels, on the back straightaway. Chris Pastriak in the third spot. Four to go off the corner. Doug Kobe in fourth, Ed Reed Jr. fifth. 
So Ed Reese Jr. helping himself out there. Um, about midway through this race, he would have thought his chances of uh, keeping that first spot on the points list may have ran away, but looks like he's ran to the front of the field. He is in the fifth spot. He's looking for more. He's behind Doug Kobe and Chris Pastriak. Meanwhile, while the slicing and dicing continues behind him, Tech Christopher has forged a lead between he and Tom Fox in the number 47. Christopher now cruising. Two laps left to go. He's out there all by himself. The real battle behind him. Tom Fox tries to hold off the charge. Uh, Chris Pastriak in the number five. Chris Pastriak trying to make a move to the inside. Trying to find some running room. Doug Kobe behind him. Eddie Reed Jr. in the 72. Rounds out the top five. White flag flying through the air. Tech Christopher coming out of turn number four. This time by, he's going to be looking at the checkered flag. Quinn goes to the Mystique Motorsports number 13. Tommy Fox second. Chris Pastriak third. The fourth spot held down by Doug Kobe. Rounding out your top five, our points leader, Ed Reed Jr. What a way to wrap up Chucky's Dandy Donuts Pepsi 300 night here at the Waterford Speed Bowl. An exciting night of racing, and of course, it's going to continue to be exciting as our own Kyle Ricky making his way down to talk to Tech Critique. He'll put down the window net, climb out of the car, and we'll have some comments from the winner of the 100 lap feature event closing out tonight's Chucky's Dandy Donuts Pepsi 300 night of racing here at the Waterford Speed Bowl. And Teddy set to climb out. Safety devices being removed. Helmet off. Window net down for Ted Christopher. Winner here tonight in the modified portion of our Pepsi 300. 100 lap grind for the modifieds. Gonna get the sponsor hat out. And Teddy, I guess one of the uh, keys to winning tonight started earlier this afternoon at time trials. The front definitely the place to be. Uh, stay away from a lot of trouble. Yeah, um, I really like to thank my crew. We did a lot of work on this car. We were up to like 3.30 last night, put a totally different setup in it. And uh, thank Mike Pettit for a really awesome motor. He took, we took it out in the beginning of the week and he did some more changes to it. I told him we, you know, we were lacking some stuff at a certain area in the track. And yeah, that car was awesome tonight. Two years in a row, what's it about this race here at Waterford? I like taking Terry's money. <laughs> car looked good out front. What's he got out front? Seemed like no one could stay with you. Yeah, you know, that's the first time I really had a car here that, I mean, my, my hands probably moved from like 2 o'clock till 12 o'clock every lap. And it was just like on a really cruise, you know, cruise control. And when they're like that, it just makes it really easy. A lot of caution laps late in the race. Do you think uh, those guys behind you had anything for you? I know Tommy was up there and Jeff was up there for a while. Yeah, I'm on my game plan. I can beat him. There you go. Ted Christopher, congratulations. Another big win for you here tonight at Waterford. I know, it's good. Last night at Stafford and uh, here again at Waterford in two years in a row. Gonna try and make it a perfect weekend here. The driver of the 13, Ted Christopher, we're gonna head over to Town Fair Tire, Victory Lane. That's where the celebration will continue here tonight.